can tell you another story. Okay. Okay. So this, but actually, guys, this are true story. Eh, happened to me and during my, I would say my humble five years of experience. <laughs> humble. Um, so this is a tenant living inside an apartment. Okay, where the owner deals with this power of attorney as well. That in this case was not a management company, but a single person. Okay, you have these cases. You have the power of attorney. You check the power of attorney is valid. It's also a bit sketchy to check if power of attorney are valid or not, but fine. You go on trust, you go good the first time, you go good the second time. You pay in one payment and because you run a lot of cash on you, you prefer to pay cash. Which, guys, cash is not trackable, so once it's gone, it's gone. Okay, there is not a name on the cash banknotes. However, uh, the person, in this case the power of attorney of the owner, comes directly to your apartment to collect your money. So the total one year cash of rent was 200,000 in this case, has been given to the power of attorney, which was this person. This person took the money and ran away. In this case, I, I mean, we are still talking this is a small scam. Yeah, but in, the, in this case, who, who is in trouble? The tenant. But did he receive a signed contract? No, maybe. But why did he give money without receiving a signed contract? That's because you are like going friendly because you did last year, you do the next year. You do it. It's not difficult.